The Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association protested outside the Ministry of Education's headquarters earlier today. They are dissatisfied with the ministry's response to their concerns. The association is again calling for the immediate removal of the principal of the St. Madeleine Secondary School. Tutor President Lindsay Dudai said the ministry it's must very, very take action now. In the Ministry of Education, with respect to the inaction to deal with the issues confronting our teachers at the St. Madeleine Secondary School. It seems that the Ministry of Education is unwilling to act in the matter and it seems that some persons seemingly are untouchable because we had a picket demonstration at St. Martin Secondary School and within one week the Minister was announcing the recommendation of disciplinary charges against some of our teachers at this school. However, Minister in the Ministry of Education, Dr. Lavelle Francis, said contrary to the popular belief, the Ministry does not punish teachers. He noted that this falls within the remit of the Teaching Service Commission. So you can't arbitrarily decide that someone is guilty of something. There has to be a proper and thorough investigation. That investigation was partially done by a super school supervisor, but it is still ongoing. So that issue has not come to rest yet. The family of Kevon Clark is refuting reports in the media surrounding his death last Friday evening. His sister Karina Clark, who spoke to CNews News at the Forensic Science Center, indicated that he did not jump off any jetty. Clark's body washed ashore in Carinage late on Friday night. It was reported that he jumped off a jetty and failed to resurface. What we were advised on Rick and Sachs, it is that he fell off of his boat. He tripped and he fell into the sea. There was no jetty. This happened at Intercontinental Shipping. He works for them. Um, he was supposed to work that morning and what we were advised is that they were looking for him but it was time to go off to work and they were looking for him um they didn't locate him former attorney general ramesh lawrence maraj is confident that his crime plan will help reduce the situation in this country he gave details about the plan to the media during a press conference at his office in san fernando he explained that high crime in trinidad and tobago had been brought down before this crime problem can be brought under control. Uh, if you remember in 1996, we were regarded as the Wild West. I don't know, some of you may, um, I'm, I'm talking my age, we were regarded as the Wild West. There were articles abroad, Trinidad and Tobago was the Wild West. And when we went there, when I went there, I mean, it was very discouraging. But we had made up our mind that we were going to bring this crime under control. The former UNC member explained that his decision to assist the government was not born out of a new allegiance but rather one of a citizen seeking the betterment of his country. We should be a mature society that even though we may belong to different political parties, I, am not, I don't have any political party, no, I'm not active in any political party, but even though I may have had a background in a political party and the country is in trouble, and a prime minister is a prime minister of a different party, and I could assist the country, I would come forward. And I think that is the duty of every, every citizen. To sport now, head coach of the senior men's national football team, Dennis Lawrence, says his players are ready to face Mexico. The Warriors are coming off a 1-0 victory over Panama on Friday, and now host the Mexicans are looking to build on the momentum from Friday's victory. Lawrence says he wants his players to play with confidence and without fear when the two teams square off at the Hazley Crawford Stadium from 7 p.m. on Tuesday. I think the, um, the key for us is we have to be brave. We have to be brave to be able to say um, we know exactly what we want to do. What we cannot afford to do is um, allow Mexico to take total control of the game, which they are extremely good at. So it's going to be a great test for, for our group. But yeah, um, the idea is to be brave tomorrow and try and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mexico and ensure that we stay involved in the game from, from that point of view. And that was your C News update. I'm Mahalia Joseph. Good afternoon.